All right, a bunch of places to go. Let's start with Ovi, who gets his 800th uh, with a hat trick. What what is Gretzky on 896? Something like 894. that. 894. 894. 894. Does it matter to you? Does it, or should it matter to the hockey world whether Ovechkin catches Gretzky, passes Gretzky, or not? What do you think that means? For who or for what? I mean, for Ovi, it uh, it really puts him on the the king of the hill. Sure, it uh, does. For for everything including uh you know longevity durability all of it it's uh i don't know it has to be in my opinion the crown jewel of of anything we've ever seen in the nhl in terms of uh notoriety in terms of uh, the ultimate record john i don't know gretzky's points is is a, an amazing one at 2800 i don't even know what that number is um, and that one we know will never be broken. But to say you're the top goal scorer in NHL history to me is uh, is right up there with Gretzky's point total. Yeah, I, 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 I think I think it's listen. This is to me what we're what we're going through now in 2022 is as close. And we went and we we did go through it with Wayne um, when he got to 800 and 802 to pass Gordy. Um, you know, this is, this is as close as we are going to get in, 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 for a lot of people in their lifetime to, to what we went this Bob with, uh, 714 and Henry Aaron and Babe Ruth, uh, and the importance within the sport. Um, you know, that, that, that to me, that's, that's where, and, and, and the other part of it, and Nick, Nick can address this better than I can, is th- this game has changed so much. Um, it's harder to score goals in the last 20 years than it was in the previous 20 years. And that, that might be a, a, the biggest statement of why this is important now for Alex Ovechkin. Don't you think, Nick? Well, I think it's, it can be a two-sided coin here. I think if we go back to the lockout in 2004, uh, it's been driven completely for, for guys like Ovi and everyone else to kind of, maintain a level uh the rule changes john have always gone in towards more goals they didn't care about the goalies they didn't care about the coaches and defense they encourage these guys to put the puck in the net and to the point now where i don't see the same type of sense of urgency to play play defense anymore from these players they're not scared to make mistakes they're not scared to be benched they're not scared to be uh, uh, a healthy scratch They'll go and exchange chances. Is it more entertaining? I don't know. I mean, judging by the hits on Twitter and Instagram, it seems to be heading in the right direction. But, you know, there's other parts of it. The goalies are better. The equipment's bigger. It's, it's uh, th- there's so many different angles you can go about it. But when I look at the rule changes from 2004 out, the moment, uh, the moment Sid and Ovi arrived, it was always geared to push these guys to the next level. And who can argue right now uh, that it isn't, uh, it hasn't been a good thing uh, for the league because they're going to ride this coattail now um, for the next season, season and a half. For me, the missing ingredient in the conversation is always how long did it take to get to that particular point in any sport? I mean, you talk about home runs. I mean, how many games did Henry Aaron play? in order to hit one more home run than Babe Ruth. And then, you know, the Bonds thing is a different scenario altogether because of the steroid question. But still, that's always an important thing in my mind. So Ovechkin gets there in fewer games than Gretzky. Well, we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. I know, but we I give him the record. But if he doesn't, then there's... You know, it's like the Maris asterisk on 61. You know, there was an asterisk there. And why was there an asterisk there? Because he played 162 games and Babe Ruth only played 154. I mean, that was how long the season was. Mm -hmm. And Major League Baseball thought they should put an asterisk there. And I agree. If you give a guy more opportunities to do something, they're going to do it. It's a mathematical reality. So... In my mind, that's where that's where we are with Ovechkin. 
And I so, guess we- so, so, so let me put it, let me ask you this question. So how scored 801 goals and he scored them in just over 1700 games. Yeah. Ovechkin will score 801 goals in just over 1300 games. Does and that diminish what Gord, with, with, it was, would that diminish what Gordy Howe did? It's not a question of diminishing. It's a question of where do you rank each of these things? Yeah. Well, 400 games less. Yeah. Certainly uh, tells you that. Uh, that's pretty you know, good. Hey, listen. Oh, uh, we accomplished it a heck of a lot faster, and it should be ab- above Gordy. Agreed. I agree. Yeah. I would at like to see a Michigan score a goal at 52, though. Gordy scored, scored a goal at 52. <laughs> he may. He may. He's, like, <laughs> uh, he, he's 37, John. He's 37, and he's last time, like as of last night, I think he was uh, five goals behind Connor McDavid uh, and, and Jason uh, Robertson and Tage Thompson. Yeah. I mean, those guys are like you know, 15 years younger, and he's up there with them now. And we're, what's he on pace now for John? Another 50, 55. Yeah. Uh, I was trying to figure that out in in, in in dealing with he's he's 94 goals behind Wayne. He's got this season and next year. Can he do it by the end of next season? No, is really the no, question. No, no. Why not? Well, because he needs to finish. He needs at least I think another. Uh, he needs back to back what uh, 50 goal seasons. Basically, right? yes, yeah, yeah, and. Yeah. Uh, well, if do you, do you give him another thirty here for sure this season? I don't know. That's a, uh, I mean, it, it, it's all spec, it's speculative, but yeah, that becomes the real question: is goal scoring is up so much? It I mean, is. Nobody, nobody, n- nobody walked into the United Center last night and said, "Well, Alex has scored three. Now the Blackhawks aren't very good, uh, but n- nobody walked in and said the Ovi's yeah. going to score three. I think the way analytics is going, John, somebody's going to break down how many more bad teams does he have? How many more Chicago's can he get a hat trick on? And are they a playoff team? Are they in the hunt? Where are they? Uh, Who, Washington? All this. Yes. No, no, the, Washington or the other team. Yeah, I mean, it's a good and, point, Nick. And, and, and where is Backstrom in all of this? How long can he go? without Backstrom and who's going to be his centerman and can Kuznetsov get him another 30. All of this is going to factor in. I don't see it. uh, I don't see him breaking the record at the end of next season, but I certainly see it uh, the following uh, November. Does it matter that he projects to play his entire career with one team? Because Gordy didn't do that. How didn't do that? Gordy wanted to. I think it's remarkable uh, under any circumstances anymore with free agency the where where it is and uh, cap restrictions, all of that. I think we'll never see it again. We will never see another guy get these type of numbers in one uniform. Will not happen under the the cre- uh, current CBA. 